faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird brain. It's a plane. It's I, Walter. I, Walter. Yes, it's I, Walter, strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. I, Walter, who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend ears with his annoying voice, and who disguised as Walter Interanti, mild-mannered janitor for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, nonsense, and the American way. And now, another exciting episode in the adventures of I, Walter. Hey everyone, this is Walter on April 10th, and I'm going to try to do a podcast. Matt's been wanting me to do one mainly to play his audio clips. Yeah, I I told Matt I was going to try to do a podcast. I got to get a better setup for my mic because right now I'm just holding it and it picks up me when it slaps my knee and I had a... Uh, what do you call it, a, a thing to put my mic on, and it kind of like works pretty good, but it's not the greatest uh, adapter for my for my mic. Yeah, you know what, There, I was telling Matt, I said, yeah, I wanted to do a podcast even last week. I set up the new Mac Studio. I've been bad-mouthing about Mac Studio since I started doing podcasts again, which was only like three or four, not even, probably like three. So then I actually am being a hypocrite because I went out and I bought a Mac Studio, and it's not bad. Uh, I did find one problem already. I use that program called Audacity, which I really like. Well, here's the problem, though. Audacity um, does not work very well with the new Mac, M, the Mac Silicon chip called the M1. In fact, it works pretty – it doesn't work at all right now. Apparently, you can get it to work. I haven't figured out how to do so. And, yeah, I always call it my amp box uh, works fine with everything. The amp box is actually called uh, Focusrite. That's the name of the brand. So, yeah. But you know what? It just drives me nuts because, like, I've been at the job I'm at now, and I intend to stay there for a very long time if possible. But I've only been there for about a month in, or two months in one week. So that's pretty bad. Yeah, somebody's texting me now. So I thought I turned everything off. So I will play uh, sound clips from Matt. I have like 11 of them now because I haven't, you know, made a podcast. There was a comic book convention this weekend a friend told me about. I I didn't realize this. I know I heard about David Tennant being there a while back. He was going to be in a, a convention in Philadelphia, Center City, and... I totally forgot about it, and then it came up this weekend. It was like, yeah, it's a little bit of a short notice. And you know what? Going to these meet and greets and seeing these people is a real pain in the neck. Um, They're just extremely expensive, too. Uh, To see David Tennant wasn't as as expensive as that one time. I paid almost five six dollars $600 to see him and Billy Piper, but it still was over 100 bucks. Why is everybody texting me now? I never get anything, and now all of a sudden I'm getting all these texts. I might have to turn off my phone. So anyway, uh, you know, I, one thing that annoys me at work, you know, I got some good trainers and stuff like that, but I don't know what it is. I, I'm used to working with, like, all guys. Years ago that was. Actually, I worked at a place uh, that was all guys in a factory job, and it was great because you don't have that conflict. You don't have to you know, you know, push out your chest and act like a macho guy because there's a, a female around. I, I can't stand that. And I, people who know me since, you know, since I've been in college, God, that's been like 21 years ago that I graduated from one college, and it's been almost 30 years from another college because I got my associates, my bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree, but that's going almost 30 years ago. So... People who know me don't know me that I don't just try to show off because there's a woman in the room. I just was always a very goofy person. And God loved women because, you know, I'm a man. I love women, not men. But, uh, yeah, I just can't stand it when they got to be, you know, I hate to say it about ladies, but you're a little bit like 
it seems like it's a general thing. You have to be passive aggressive or uh, you can't just come out and say something. You have to kind of insinuate it. And one of the things I've noticed at my present job with the females is they roll their eyes or they act kind of like, I don't know what else to say, very childish. And it's like, you know what? If I want that, I just will stay at home all the time. I can get that from my father. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't like that stuff. It's really annoying. I went to an all girls college, you know, I hate to say it, but it was Cabrini and, uh, you know, outside of Philadelphia. And that was like years ago, that was an all girls sc- uh, school before it became co ed back in, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the 70s or 80s. So, but it still had that reputation of being an all female college. I went there because it was close to home, and they had taken a crap ton of my credits from a community college. So why not? I mean, I I, I had transferred in from uh, Montgomery County Community College with like 70-some credits or something. I was a junior, so hey, well, why not? And it saved me a heck of a lot of money. Plus, I got a scholarship because my GPA was pretty pretty damn good. It was a, a 3.0. You know, not or no, yeah, it was a 3.0 because I remember Ken Matthews saying, Oh, I had a, um, a below a 2.0 or something. I don't know. So, you know, I, I've dealt with all the, the pettiness I had when I was at Cabrini years ago. I had some girl who literally kept on repeatedly, her name was uh, Mary Beth, kept on slamming a door in my face, which I didn't appreciate. And then when I put my foot in the door of her, repeatedly try to slam a door in my face. She called me a fucking asshole for trying to keep her from continuously slamming a door on my face. And it feels like that childish behavior never goes away with women. It just continues on into their adulthood. Um, But yeah, I don't mean to complain about work. I got God, I love the job I have. It's actually idiot simple for the most part. But I do have issues and, you know, Having to act like, you know, you're superior mentally because you have a boyfriend, I don't really give two shits. So it gets really old. So I that that kind of was what I was going to go off about. Now, excuse me, I just smacked my lips or whatever you call it. But I get tired of, like, you know, being looked upon as, like, I'm some type of degenerate. It's like, you know what, I, I pulled up one day, I think several or 12 articles on all the mishaps that are happening in PA like and that stuff gets avoided for very obvious reasons and I was looking through the the list I sent to my friend Todd and one I showed a guy at work I said you know you should see all these morons and idiots in this freaking state it's just out of hand and the ones where I'm looking at right now is PA man facing 115 child sexual abuse related charges uh and they were all with children under the age of 13 you know 13 and younger and i'm not going to go any further but this article will never make national news because of who was in the picture so to speak and then there's one pa mom accused of taking narcotics and falling asleep on a newborn leading his suffocation uh him suffocating the death the child uh, lawyers raise questions about fatal cabin shooting of PA father. I mean, I can just go on and on and on. I might, uh, for the next few minutes, PA shop owner accused of murder and her longtime partner. This is all from Pennsylvania, by the way. 21-year-old after teen body is found frozen in rural PA. I mean, it's just ridiculous. PA mom admits to she and her partner internationally starved their daughter to death, buried, um, and then buried her in a rural backyard. A PA man called for dismembering girlfriend's body after neighbor called to report domestic dispute. Uh, Wow, I lost the rest of the stories. But I think you kind of get the hint that it is just like one story after another story. And it's just like nonstop. PM uh, woman admits she didn't do a good job on cleaning blood from a car where she allegedly shot her boyfriend. And good man 
a good man father to be joined to co-worker trip and cabin phoenix man's uh phoenix man set apartment on fire to cover up roommate's murder it's all the same stereotype, though. That's the problem that I have. PA man sentenced to life for bludgeoning woman with hammer, then strangling and burning her in a robbery plot. So uh, PA man accused of being a uh, beaten woman to death with a pipe while she was seated at office reception desk i mean enough already uh, probably my stories but also just this nonsense and you know what that stuff gets overlooked for me and it gets focused on me that's what really annoys me and i you know oh walter you're just over um over examining stuff no i'm not actually i do get this nonsense all the time um from people like they they focus or not focus on me by well, they focus on me by not focus on me by being passive aggressive or other nonsense crap. And I really get tired of that. Sorry, I keep on moving my mic away. I mean, I'm going to play stuff that my friend Matt had sent to me. I just had to get that off my chest first. I haven't done that in quite a while, you know, complain about things or complain about people. So, yeah, it does get like really old, though. It gets really, really old. Uh, hey, you know what? Well, you know what? I'm going to wait and play one of Matt's pieces because I've already uh, complained for about 11 minutes now. It's hard to believe. I, I enjoy complaining, too. I know you find it hard to believe. So I don't know from the last time what I've played of Matt's, but I do have, like, actually 11 sound clips. So I'm going to try to play those, and then I'll return to more of me complaining so i'm going to play them in the order that i see them the first one is ooh again i might have played this before so i apologize if you heard it but after not doing a podcast for a week um i am actually down negative five so that's pretty bad on my podcast All right, so that was Matt's, like, uh, sorry, I might have talked, spoken over a little bit of that. That was Matt's first piece. I got, like, ten more to go. So, anyway, um, yeah, that was, again, that was from Matt Tarrant's music teacher guy, 610-804-6968, I believe. Is that correct? So, anyway, nobody listens to me, Matt, so it's not even, it's pointless, I know. To even mention that but yeah he he's been making some better music none of it's bad it's but it's improved and you know what unfortunately i don't know which order he had sent me some of this music so i'm gonna have to apologize about that too uh because um well i keep on sending the text to the wrong person <laughs> that's pretty bad so yeah you know what it was funny maybe i'll pull up that story first but, again, I keep on sending the wrong stuff to the wrong person. Um, yeah, so here is funny thing. Uh, it actually did happen in Pennsylvania, too, where people are fed up with Biden's, you know, his his uh, ra- raising the prices on oil and stuff. Well, he, he's not raising them, but he's not. We don't have as many sources to get our our crude oil now he's shut them down so now the the price of oil has you know went through the roof and uh it was in lancaster pa where a man now was arrested for putting those i did that sticker on the gas pump 
It was in Lancaster County. So this man got arrested for, uh, you know, putting those stickers on the, on the gas pump. Everybody, well, there's enough people who are fed up. And, you know, Biden, you know, he didn't win legally. I mean, theoretically he won, but realistically, the man did not win the presidential election. Let's face it. So, you know, that, that it's just funny with that. But yeah, I had more stories that I just kind of put on the sideline, maybe hoping to just mention them, not go into big detail. There was a story around here in Monco. It, uh, you know, it's not the only case, but this was like what? Okay, it was like a couple months ago, a teen dead, four seriously injured in a car crash. I mean, that's, that's another complaint I have, are these idiots when the speed limit's like 25 and they're going like 90. And if you go like that fast, they got to go 95. And there's, there's, the, around here, around my house, I've seen now they're staking out more police officers because it is kind of out of hand. So, you know, it's just ridiculous with these idiots driving. And a lot of them are these millennials and these, these teens and other sectors or whatever you want to call it that, you know, come around Montgomery County now to drive like morons. So it's just ridiculous. I wish I would have had that story uh, available or in front of me, but there was a story that I read or I told people about friends a while back that they're going to uh, renovate part of Narstown State Hospital because, quote unquote, this one article had mentioned that the amount of mental illness has, go, you know, went down because of. Basically, uh, medicating people that are mentally ill. But then there was an article just recently. The one article that I mentioned, it goes a little bit back. But then there was another article, and it would, they were both on this thing called the the patch. There's like Narstown patch. Uh, depends on what area you live in, but there's different patch areas that talk about, you know, speak about or report on local news. So then they said, well, now Narstown state hospital grounds is not going to renovate it for like housing or whatever else they were going to do. They said the complete opposite. They contradicted what the original story was. And they were saying, Oh, we're going to build, we're going to tear down buildings that were not used for many years. Like they're basically animal infested because they're, they're falling apart and they're going to tear those down and rebuilt new buildings more, but they're going to build more mental health buildings because there is an uprise in the amount of mental illness, not a decline as they originally had reported. So it's like, wow, you can't even make up your mind on this simple story like that. So that really pissed me off. So anyway, before I go any more further, I'm going to play the next piece, which is Let's, that's what it looks like from Matt Tarns, the music teacher. Right, so that was Matt's Let's. Sorry, it's still going on, but it kind of faded out, so I just figured out he did a better job with that. So you know what? I'm going to run out of stories to complain about or things to complain about, so that's going to be good because the rest are just be me playing Matt's stuff. I've only played two pieces, and I got like nine to go. Anyway, you know, it was funny. I found I, I went on to Ken Matthews. I've been listening to him, and here's the thing. Ken Matthews has only been on, I guess, a month or two. Uh, he started his own network, and he's doing it on Spreaker. That's where I do my show. So that was actually uh, pretty interesting that he's using the same format that I'm using or the same uh, web uh, date, or I don't know what you call it, like web link, whatever, that he's paying for to do his, you know, syndicate it nationally, whatever. Pod, uh, radio show live and on podcasts, you know, for the, you know, once you, you know, he's off there. And the thing that's great, he is now competing against uh, 
Rush Limbaugh with the new guys after Rush passed away, which I actually don't have a problem with because I prefer Ken Matthews over the new guys. So I'm a little bit redlining, so I don't know if it's going to sound really bad or if it's going to sound okay. I hope it sounds okay. So I'll find out. So anyway, Hunter Biden, I, I saw this story. I heard Ken Matthews talk about a lot of stuff. In fact, I pulled this stuff from Ken Matthews' Gab page because he has been kicked off of every social media uh, format so far. So I apologize about my neck going in and out towards my mic. I got to get like a a mic that I can, you know, an adapter to put my mic on so I can not sound all over the place. So this Hunter Biden story link that was on Ken Matthews' Gab page was about firm invested in VR metaverse used by child sex groomers and his laptop shows he had it uh, had an account so it's everything's going around the hunter biden's laptop scandal thing now here's the thing though here's the thing you're not hearing about any of this stuff you're not hearing a damn thing about any of this stuff because you you won't now if it was trump it would just be made up story after made up story after made up story but when it's coming to the democrats and hunter biden and some other nonsense right now, you will not hear a damn thing about it. So it's it's amazing how it's uh, so one-sided. I don't know what else to say. Uh, here is a story I saw. I believe it was on Ken Matthews' website. Creeps eight year years of abuse come screeching to a halt the moment his victim's arm armed mom finds out. So I'm not going to read this stuff because I'm so bad at reading. I'm not going to. I'm just like looking for, you know, newer places to get information on. So, yeah. Yeah, he's got like really good stories on Ken Matthews' Gab page. You can find uh, stories that are actually, (laughs) you're not going to hear them anywhere else. You're going to hear really, you're going to read, not just hear, you're going to read good stories. Yeah, there's some some stuff at added to it you know audio files video files whatever but yeah anyway yeah i had some more stories again that i you know i found on the patch they're all just i don't know else to put it they're just really gross and disgusting and annoying so why do you read them walter that's a good question because it annoys me when everything the center focus seems to be in walter's world the focus is on what I do wrong, not what other people do wrong. And these stories are from around where I live, so it even annoys me more. So I'm going to play the next piece from Matt, and it's going to call, it's called Just Gotta. So I have no clue what it sounds like, but I'm going to play it right now. Okay, so that was Matt's next piece. So since he has so many, and probably you're getting tired of hearing me just complain about uh, my my uh, gripes, uh, probably what I'll do is I'll talk a little more, maybe introduce the songs, but, well, I was going to say I was going to try to just, but try to, I can't even get my words out. I was going to try to just like mix them together because there's a lot of pieces left. But that wouldn't make any sense because then you wouldn't know what they're called. So, and you're just going to think it's one piece of music. So, I'll make my gripe sessions less. Anyway, there's one story that keeps on surfacing. Again, it's from around here, which is Montgomery County, Narstown area. Murder warrant issued on Upper Marion fatal shooting. Well, that's obviously not, but it is Montgomery County area. And then there's another story: Philadelphia man arrested in February. Um, in February, 27 
meaning that this incident happened on the 27th on a Norristown slant. And yes, that did say Norristown. I'm not going to go into the stories. My point is there is so much human debris, human garbage around here anymore. It just drives me like up the wall, literally drives me up the wall. How does how's that happen, Walter? That's a good question. Former prison guard sold guns on social media, Monco DA. Monco in there again. A uh, man wanted for shooting two and killing one in Narstown, Narstown, Alley. Um, but again, it's it's just like the hand, the guns always end up in the wrong hands. You want to take guns away from everybody, but the people who should not have guns get them. So what is wrong with this picture? Well, let's see. There is an awful lot wrong with that picture, but nobody wants to do anything about it. Here, I just did it again. I got to get a better mic set up. I, I really do. I'm, I'm tired of not having my mic like the the right distance from my freaking mouth. So anyway, next piece. I'm just going to go on to the next piece. I apologize. I'm screaming into the mic now. Um, it's J G Min G Min. G Min, right? G Min. Like in minute, but it's G M I N. That's the next piece I want to play from Matt, because I don't know to, how to uh, uh, pronounce it. And I know these don't have any real meaning. Matt told me this before. It's just the way he marks them. And I might be playing some parts that are pieces that I've played before. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Right. That is the one I had mentioned that Matt made called a G Min, G Minute, like G Min, G Min, something like that. So, yeah, I, I think I'm done with all my complaining, so it's going to be really difficult. Now, I was going to do a podcast last Sunday because I went and seen that movie of Morbius, and I actually really, really liked it. I thought it was excellent. Uh, well, yeah, I thought it was pretty damn good. The, my complaints are uh, it had Jared Leto play uh, Morbius. He's a uh, man-made, man-made, not dead, but he is a vampire. He's a self-made vampire. So it's based upon a comic book from Marvel Comics. Um, it got bad press. I mean, in fact, maybe when I'm playing Matt's next piece, I'll look at how it did. It didn't make like a lot of money, but it is in the same universe as Spider-Man. It's one of Spider-Man's villains, I guess. He's more of like in this movie, he's a hero, but he is, you know, technically a, a Spider-Man villain called Morbius. Do you, you know, the living vampire because he's not a dead. Vampires are usually generally dead. But yeah, this vampire is a person who was alive. He never really died. He just needs, he has the thirst for human blood. It's kind of weird, but he's a superhero too. So I liked it. Um, I actually pre-ordered uh, the when it comes out, the steel book, because just out of principle, not that I have the money. And I wouldn't mind checking it out again. I went to a movie theater around the house. It was only like nine bucks. I was like, yeah, that was fine. And I enjoyed it. I was the only one in the theater because of the reviews being so bad. So I thought, again, it was not bad. Uh, one of the old, do not in the new series of Doctor Who, one of the actors who did play Doctor Who on the new 2005 series named Matt Smith, he was the villain in Morbius. So my biggest gripe about Morbius, though, was the fact, why did he get a PG-13 rating? That was, to me, that's a kiss of death. That is a kiss of death. The movie is meant to be violent. It's a borderline horror movie because it's about a vampire in a superhero comic book, and you make it PG-13. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. They, they Deadpool, Brian Reynolds, when he played Deadpool, he said he would not do it. Unless it got a rated R rating. He said there's no way Deadpool's going to 
pull off a PG thirteen rating, and he fought he fought that, and he he got what he wanted. You know, I know he's just an actor in a movie. But he said you have to make sure that the character is rated R because the movie is going to be horrible. And guess what they did? They did make a PG thirteen version of the movie after it was released, and it was horrible. No, people seem to forget about this stuff. Not that it's important, I know. So anyway, before I start gabbling, on, you know, blurbing more nonsense out, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to play a perfect song from Matt called Forget. That's a perfect name for a song, and probably what you want to think of me after listening to me talk for even two seconds. So here we go. Forget from Matt Tarns, the music teacher guy. Right. Hey, it's Walter again. Yeah, that was good, Matt. That was really good, but it was kind of short. You have like a lot of good ideas, but they're some are really uh, not bad length, but short. But that one was really short. So that was forget. Again, like you probably think of me. So I did look up Morbius, and actually it came in number two, but that was just because number one movie was. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. So, but, you know, I hate to say it. Yeah, Morbius is not, like, going to break any box office. Uh, It's not going to be a box office hit. But the movie only being out for, like, what, two weeks? Actually made, I'm not going to go just by domestic or by international gross. I'm going to put it all together like it is on box office, office mojo. They do break it down. It made $126 million, almost 127 worldwide. So, hey, that's not a complete failure of a film. The movie was pushed back numerous times. So, again, you know, for a comic book movie, that's probably pretty bad. For a movie overall, it's okay. It's not as awful as what they made it out to be. And I'm looking at it. They're, they're comparing it. It says nine-day total for Morbius, but they're only going by... The domestic, it said 54, 50, yeah, 54 million. And Venom in that same time period of nine days, it made $132 million. But, you know, I hate to say it's just you're talking apples and oranges, apples and oranges. And here's the other problem. Morbius is something nobody ever heard of. Venom, everybody's heard of. I mean, people who don't read comic books know who... Batman, Spider-Man, Venom, the Joker. They know these characters. Morbius as a character is so down the food chain line of comic books. You really expect people like this movie to make a lot of money because it's, you know, not to make a lot of money because it's a bad movie. No, it's because it's a comic that probably not many people really read if they read comic books, which it seems like that's the new thing for adult children now i don't know but i'm just saying so anyway let me just go on to the next segment when when i over oscillated just now by talking so freaking loud uh matt you heard your little f minor okay i did read that right so i'm gonna play f minor next i apologize i i didn't think i was gonna be able to say the name of your piece i just call them pieces i don't know what else to call them f minor from matt tarns the music teacher guy. All right. Oh, wow. I sound so loud. I didn't let it, uh, you know, go all the way out. I, I, Matt, that was a great piece, but it was so damn short. What the fuck? Sorry. So the next one I'm going to play is going to be called F, and that's that's it, F, you know, F you. So, um, yeah, it's F. So before I do that, sorry, I keep on rubbing my freaking mic on my leg. I'm not getting excited, trust me. But I pulled up, Matt, I pulled up your, your web link so people, you know, I can actually go a little further into saying the music teacher guy. 
Matt has other websites. You go to themusicteacherguy.com, and it should come up, I think, privatemusiclessons.com, I think. Let me go back on the search. So I'm going to spend a little time plugging Matt. Yeah, I came. it came up under, if you go under Google search, because I just did one now for Matt, it says Private Music Lessons, The Music Teacher Guy. You can find him on Google or other things. You just click on the one that says Private Music Lessons for anybody who is interested. You will find Matt's webpage. It will have his phone number on there, 610-804-6968. And it, you know, has a little thing under there, a little thing that Matt typed up. Private Music Lessons, Private Music Teacher, King of Prussia, PA, 19406. A private music teacher offering in-home private music lessons in King of Prussia, PA, 19406. And he goes on to say, if you're seeking private music lessons, guitar lessons, piano lessons, bass lessons, or drum lessons, you can come, you came to the right spot. And then he goes on and he kind of introduces himself a little further. So, yeah, you can find his contact information or he can contact you, I should say. But everything is on there. I'll probably, yeah, I can go a little further. Rates and policies on there. Please, if you do contact Matt, make sure you do look at the policy, uh, what he what it consists of. And don't say like, well... Why are you charging me for a lesson that I did not take? Well, if you signed up for lessons and you can't do them on certain days that you uh, agreed upon with Matt, then that's on you, not on him. But that's spelled out much clearer than what I'm doing right now because I want to play Matt's next piece of MF. You know, F you. No, his, his piece called F. But anyway, if you go to his web link, it has Music Teacher Guy. There's a you know there's a, a web link for that because he's got a couple web pages. He has another one called Private Music Lessons on Skype, which he really kind of would prefer to do it in person as opposed to over the computer, but he will. And then he has another link I see called Music Intervals. So I'm just letting you know, Matt's got a lot of uh, sort you know he has other teachers. If he can't see you personally, he will get somebody else to help you with your lessons he will you know it's conv- he makes it convenient for you not for himself because he comes to your house to do you know one-on-one music lessons so anyway it's a really long show tonight thanks to walter being big mouth so let me play f Yeah, baby, yeah. Now, that was a little bit better, Matt. Uh, you, they're so short, though. I'm still on the Music Teacher Guy webpage. You know why? Because it's really freaking cool. So anyway, I am looking at rates and policies for Matt's Music Teacher Guy uh, webpage. Well, you know, what he charges for lessons. Rates are 109 per month for weekly 30-minute lessons and 209 per month for 60 minute lessons. So that's actually not bad. You got to break it down because you got to remember Matt's going to see you once a week. So that's not bad at all. It's like what 50? Oh, dude, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm an idiot, so I'm not gonna even pretend not to be. If there are two students in the same household, 60 minutes, uh, 60 minute weekly lessons may still be purchased at 209. So you're. It sounds like to me, Matt. You can re- correct me if I'm wrong. You're getting two for one, so that's not bad. And the time may be divided between both students, each of whom will receive 30 minutes. So here we go. 30 minutes of lesson time. Lessons must occur on the same day and be back-to-back. So, Matt, you're really going out of your way to help people out and make it if they want to take music lessons or learn an instrument. You're making it very simple for them. Lesson uh, times longer than an hour are also available should 
there be three or more students in the same household, please please contact me for rates. That's Matt. And he gives you a good deal. Check Checks are made payable to the music teacher guy. If a particular month happens to contain a fifth lesson day, the fifth lesson is provided at no extra charge. So, Matt, you really are going out of your way. The purpose of the free lesson is to offset the occasional cancellation made by a student or student's parents. So, yeah, and it goes on for more. Matt, you really, again, you, I can't say enough. So I'm almost doing an hour show, so that sucks for me. It sucks for everybody else, actually. So the next one I'm going to play, there's three more. I'm surprised I actually fit all these in. It's going to be called Do Do. The Do Do Do. The Da Da Da. I'm just kidding. I have no clue what it sounds like. I'm going to listen to it now, and then I'll comment. All right, you know what? I'm I'm a bit of a hypocrite again because I do remember that listening to that and mentioning to Matt. That's going to be the end of my new show, um, the segments of my shows. I'm going to use that do do because when I listened to it just now myself with everybody else, it was like, wow, that is really damn good, Matt. So yeah, that's going to be uh, the end of my new segments that piece not tonight because i've already you know played it so why play it again it is really good though so again i still have matt's music teacher guy web page up uh so i just wanted to let you know that matt um looking at your web pages right now like music teacher the music teacher guy.com these are all different pages so he's got four pages i believe yeah four uh they kind of have a different setup to them. Uh, Matt has a different setup, but you know, folks, if you do listen to me, uh, check out Matt's stuff. I think it's really cool. And you know, his prices are very, very com- not only just competitive; they're just damn reasonable. So, hey, by the way, on another note, because I want to play Matt's next piece, then I'm just going to try to speed this up. There's only two more left, and the two pieces are don't and bap so i'll play those but last night it was funny i was watching some shows matt you recommended to me i love them it was over uh best buy today i actually bought two movies because i returned something i didn't need and could have knocked off my mac studio computer i just bought but instead i bought two blu-ray or 4k movies blu-rays one was a 4k one was some tv show that i used to watch on dc that DC uh, stu- uh, channel, the DC, you know, DC Comics channel, but they got rid of it and the shows won elsewhere, like HBO Max and stuff, and I don't want to pay for that. So I was like, I'm embarrassed to say what show it was. I really kind of liked it, though. But then the other one was Dune, D U N E, which is based off of a series of books. And I hate to say this, they had, in 4K, they had both the new Dune movie, Dune, and then the original one that was made, the original film from the books, by David Lynch. But from what I understand, I think David Lynch pulled his name off. Maybe he did not, of his version of Dune, because his movie, I believe, was supposed to be like four hours or something like that, maybe even longer. And they said, well, this is too long. So they basically butchered his movie so severely that David Lynch was really angry and he wanted to pull his name off as uh, the director of the film because he had like these vivid, he has a very vivid imagination, but he had a really 
vivid view or you know he really wanted to you know visualize the books and they didn't let him because it would just be too damn long of a movie so it was like i was in best buy today i was like wow is this the i saw a 4k copy i was like okay i want to check out this movie dune i never read the books but i'm just curious but I tried to not get the one from David Lynch, knowing that he did not like it because they butchered it. They never released his, you know, which would probably be like a director's cut. It was never released that I know of. So I wanted to get the one, the new version of Dune. Now, when I'll ever watch it, I have no clue, but I, I own it, and I just wanted to try to experiment watching it. So before I just babble on more for another hour, let me play... Don't by Matt Tarns, the music teacher guy. Dot com. Uh, Matt, I'm sorry, I got all your pages open right now. I hope you don't mind. You're getting more traffic. I don't want to get you misled. That wow, I'm getting. You don't know how much traffic you're on your pages. I know that. You, there's no. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Ag. Uh, I can't say that word. I won't even bother. Like a thing that senses how many people, how much traffic you're getting on your web pages. I doubt you do that. So anyway, let's just go into don't. Walter, don't talk anymore. So that was Matt's don't as it fades out. Now, just to let you know, Matt, also, I really did not tamper with your pieces tonight. I didn't tamper with Matt's pieces too much. What I usually do, I think it was a, most of them I have to put a fade in and fade out because they're pretty rough on the on the beginning and the end of the pieces. So I have to do a little bit of work with that. But it's not a big deal. But otherwise, just to let Matt know, I didn't change the sound level because I normally kind of do that. In fact, I even do that with myself. I kind of, you know, try to keep it that it's not going to over oscillate. Now, it is kind of pushing in the red a little bit, but your stuff, I didn't touch anything tonight otherwise. So just to let you know about that. And actually, I'm going to be on the last piece called BAP. From Matt. I forget what it sounds like. So, uh, yeah, folks, I hope you enjoyed my show so far. I mean, I'm probably pretty annoying just to hear my voice. So, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think, like, Matt, you were asking, or I, I was going to mention some other stuff, maybe movies coming up, but I can't think of anything. So I'm going to go right into just playing his, your last piece, Matt, and hoping you didn't, hopefully you didn't mind my plug in your show hopefully I did an okay job but let me play BAP That was Matt's last piece. I Matt, I did not touch that at all. I didn't, you know, do a what do you call it? A fade in, fade out. That one actually I might use also. So it's going to be for like the ending of my segments when I do them. It's going to be either that one. I think it was called D D D or Do Do or BAP, because they are really good pieces of music. I like all your stuff, honestly, but those in particular, I, you know, I really like those. So, oh, you know what? It was funny. I'm, I'm going to cut this show off now, but just before it was funny, I was, <laughs> there I go again. I move my head away from the mic and move it back again. I apologize. 
But I, I have all these streaming services, and I'm not paying for them. Now, Matt said, maybe you are getting charged. You just don't know it. No, I'm not getting charged for them. So I have one with BBC on there. It was AMC Plus, which I got it only for the couple week or whatever it was where you get it for free. And then if you don't uh, unregister, you're going to still be paying for it. Well, I did it before the end of the free period, and they never shut it off. Uh, I think it's been over a year now, maybe two years, who knows, where I shut off Shutter, and I still get it. Now, if they did finally say, hey, you know what, uh, or if they just cut me off because they realized, wait a minute, we he did you know, deactivate his account like two years ago, and we're still giving the service. One, I pray to God they don't charge me back pay or charges. But I do watch it, so it's not that I don't watch Shudder, because I've been doing that like at nighttime before I go to bed. I watch a good horror movie, or in this case, a really bad horror movie. So one that was on that, it is actually not that bad. The sequels were really awful. It was Sleepaway Camp. So I was watching that with Felicity, was it Felicity Jones or something? Felicity something. And she, you know... That movie was really demented, kind of dark, very, it, well, it was quirky. It was quirky. But the whole premise of the film was this young kid, this little girl, is killing all these camp counselors and kids, like slaughtering them. And you never thought it would be the main character. Well, you, you know, you, you kind of do. But the thing that back in the day when that movie came out that just shocked people and it became kind of like more than just shock and it was disturbing is you find out at the very end of the film this little girl was a boy who was adopted by this woman who already had a little boy and she wanted a little girl so she dressed up and treated this girl or this boy as though she was a little girl and it it caused her to go um, nutso and kill people and again, it's called Sleepaway Camp if, for those who have never seen it. It is definitely one of those must-see films. Now, I if you haven't seen it, I just ruined the film for you. But the movie, again, it's not like a high-budget film. It's actually kind of creepy because one of the camp counselor, counselors is this really old guy who hits on like these 18-year-old girls. And one young girl actually, I mean, it's not realistic, trust me. She wants to go out on a date with this camp counselor who's like, I don't know. The guy looks like he was in his 50s or something or 60s. I don't know. Like this old Jewish guy. And it's like, yeah, that's like a little creepy. I mean, I'm sorry, but yeah, it was kind of creepy. You know what, though? I'm in that category. I'll go out with an 18-year-old if I could. Um, Matt, don't take me seriously. Well, yeah, you better take me seriously. So that was on last night. I was watching that. But then there was this movie... I don't know if you folks ever seen um, Breaking Bad. Matt, I think you have. But I never thought, like, the guy who played Walter White, he, you know, the actor, uh, Brian Cranston, that his wife was that great looking. She was okay. She was like a typical looking housewife, I thought. But I saw that actress in this movie called The Last Winner. Now, here's the problem with the movie it's a horror film on oil. You know, digging for oil or whatever you call it, uh, drilling for oil in like what is it, um, the Arctic regions. And the whole premise of the film is that you know they were trying to scare people. So it was definitely a leftist wacko film, which got really bad ratings. But it's called The Last Winter. It actually has Ron Perlman in there, who was Hellboy, and he played in that TV series. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, and he was really young. But the woman who played Walter White's White White's wife, but well, I couldn't get that out. Who her name is Connie something? I believe it's Connie something. She looked like freaking hot in that movie, like really hot. Now the problem is though, this movie was designed to be a horror in the in the sense of that when you drill on these. In these areas, you're letting out, you know, a gas from the the Earth's crust that 
causes people to hallucinate severely. So again, it was an anti-drilling, anti-oil uh, film, you know, for these oil companies trying to drill um, in like the Arctic regions. So that part was like, well, you know, I don't like these, what do you call it, type films, uh, these movies that are so political. So that one kind of, yeah, it definitely was. But if you kind of try to, it's really difficult because it's it's like, it's right there that it's showing that it is anti-oil drilling kind of stupid crap. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed it because of that actress, but the movie was actually pretty good. Otherwise the, the special effects were pretty bad. Um, it goes with uh, myth, some myth of, uh, I would think it's like an Indian uh, creature, some type of creature. I can't remember the name an animal creature. And again, it, it it looked like something from like Indian tribal. I don't know how else to put it. And I've seen it used elsewhere. But I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, that was incorporated in the film. But no, it was like, okay. It, it kind of also reminded me, like Matt, you may not agree with this, but one of my favorite Doctor Who episodes was John Pertwee. And a lot of his episodes were really far left politically inclined or whatever you want to say. They had a lot of like messages in there about, um, you know, new, you know, waste, uh, like garbage and stuff, waste and how pollution is ruining everything. Um, Inferno was one of those of on drilling for new sources of fuel and uh, how that was wrong and how it would l release this uh, primal slime that would turn people into monsters on that, that Doctor Who episode called Inferno. Sorry, I just moved away from my mic again. But that was like one of my favorite episodes. So this movie called The Last Winter was almost kind of in that direction, but not with... Uh, you know, the earth basically becoming one big ball of uh, lava and fire. It, it didn't go that direction, but it did kind of go. It was called in Doctor Who, it was called, I think, Salmon's Gas or something. I thought that was for real because I actually looked it up like last night. And that was the name of the character on Doctor Who. Again, I'm, I'm not saying it correctly. It was like called Salmon's Gas. I'm going on a freaking hour now. Jesus. Sorry, God. So, hey. Everyone, I hope you enjoy my show and all the noise in the background from me shifting my mic around. And Matt, I hope you enjoyed my segments of playing all your music and giving you a plug. Everyone, have a great night. This is Walter for my Walter. This is really repetitive. Have a good night.